Hey everyone, welcome to Seated Art. I'm Taylor, and today I'm painting on some cute little tree discs. And these tree slices are actually from Idaho and were cut and prepped individually by hand by someone I know up there. I literally have no idea what kind of tree or wood this is. Um, it looks pretty, that's about all I know. What am I painting, you may ask? Uh, it's my beautiful, wonderful mom's birthday coming up, and actually by the time this video is out, it will already have been her birthday because I wanted this to be a surprise. She loves the beach, and I wanted to paint little beach scenes on these discs for her to hang up at home. And if they turn out really bad and ugly, uh, she still has to like it because she's my mom. First and foremost, I am not a painter. I am a uh, penciler. I know a few basic things about oil painting, um, but that's about it. You know, I'm, I'm, not, I'm no pro. But I do know that priming the wood is important, so I put a few layers of gesso down before going in with the paint. Um, and at first, I actually did have a hard time deciding between painting with acrylic or oils and I eventually went with oil because my acrylics um, are more crafty and I only have like three or four colors in acrylic and they're not even the primary colors so I wouldn't be able to mix them very well. But yeah, so the first painting I started with is some fluffy clouds and I start by building a blue gradient for the sky and I already have a few mistakes right off the bat with these paintings and that's that I used too much medium and it uh, it thinned out the paint way too much and it made my layers a little too translucent and so if you're wondering which medium I used I actually used the Winsor and Newton liquid original medium for fast drying because I'm painting these a week before I'm giving them to my mom so I needed them to dry a little faster so she could hang them up so back to painting, I am channeling my inner Bob Ross and I start putting in some fluffy clouds by gently patting in some white paint. I also try to go into the sky and darken up that blue a bit to add more contrast. And once I was happy enough, I grab a clean dry brush to soften out some of my rougher and more visible brush strokes. The next disc is a beach shoreline with a view of the water. Also, after putting down some paint on all three discs, uh, I just start bouncing back and forth between all of them to slowly add more detail. Uh, because I thinned out the paint so much, I had to keep going back and, and adding more paint, which gets frustrating and um, <laughs> doesn't even really work that well. Because every time I put down paint, it either pick up the paint underneath it or just blend all together into a giant blue-green mess. So, was a process. Uh, the third disc is supposed to be a wave, which I liked more at first than I did by the end of the video, and I'm just going to say this now. I'm obviously not a painter, you know, I, I don't think painting is my thing. You know, you're, you're supposed to try everything once, and I've, I've tried oil painting a few times, and I just don't think I have the patience for them. That's why I thinned out my paint with a fast drying medium too much. Um, of course, I think I'll, I'll play with them every now and then, but I don't think I'll do major projects with them anymore until I really know what I'm doing. Um, but anyway, after working on each of the discs a few more times and trying to build up more color and detail and realizing it wasn't working, I decided uh, to just be happy with what I had. Um, they're loose and fun little happy paintings, and I, th I think they turned out alright in the end. And it was a fun, it was a fun project, and my mom has to like them. Anyways, I'm happy with uh, how these turned out, kind of. <laughs> um, off camera, I put a little bit of uh, white Posca pen to highlight some areas, um, just because I'd already put up all my oil paints, and I didn't feel like uh, bringing them back out to do this. Uh, that's the end of the video, guys. That's all I have to really say about this. And I hope you liked it. And let me know in the comments if you struggle with any mediums in particular, or if you have any tips for me about oil painting. I'd love to hear them, because uh, it's definitely my weakness at the moment. Um, but yeah, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.